In this video, we will discuss two key best practices for managing your time in Alex. The first is working in Alex on a regular basis. The second is learning as many topics as you can while logged into Alex. First, we'll show you how to find your learning rate, or how quickly you learn topics in Alex. This will help you plan out your week of studying and help you avoid cramming to meet a deadline. To get an idea of your learning rate, you'll want to check out your progress report. Open the main menu in the upper left-hand corner and choose Reports. Find the Progress History tile and select View All. On the right-hand side of the full report, you will see the column Topics Learned Per Hour. This is based on your learning rate while working in the Alex Pi. It will help you plan how much time you will likely need to set aside for the week to meet your Alex goals. For example, if you need to learn 10 topics this week, then you'll need to set aside about 10 hours to reach your goal. Now that you have a rough idea of how much time is needed, you can plan out how you'll spread out those study hours. Perhaps you'll work two hours a day for the next five days. One thing you should avoid is trying to do all 10 hours in the last day. Procrastinating and cramming is not helpful. While working in Alex, you may find yourself in certain situations that at first may feel a bit frustrating. If you do, we have some advice to help you get back on track. Situation number one. You are working on a topic and you get into a cycle of getting a question correct and then missing the next question. When this happens, there's usually one part of the topic's concept that you aren't understanding correctly. In most cases, you will find that these misconceptions can quickly and easily be corrected with some guidance. Ask your instructor for help. Or take a break from the topic. Jot it down in your notebook and ask your instructor at a later time. Try working on something else for a while. You may come back to that topic that was giving you trouble and see it from a new perspective. Understand that some topics are more difficult for you to learn than others. When you get to one of those, don't fret. Just take a break or ask for help. Situation number two. You are working on Alex and learning topics, but your grade for your current objective assignment doesn't seem to change. When this happens, you may have some essential prerequisite topics from a previous objective assignment that you need to complete first. To see the list of topics that you can work on that are in your current objective known as goal topics, follow these steps. Click the blue tab to reveal the topic carousel. Click on Filters in the upper right corner. Check the Goal Topic box to show just goal topics in the learning carousel, indicated by the diamond icon. These are the topics that count toward your current objective assignment grade. There may come a point where Alex will want you to work on essential prerequisite topics first before finishing up goal topics. That's okay. These essential topics are necessary to help you learn and understand the concepts in the goal topics. Situation number three. Even though you're accomplishing a lot, sometimes it feels like you still have a long way to go. When this happens, all you need is a little reminder of how far you've come. Seeing your Alex Pi fill in can be motivating, but it doesn't show your journey. To see how far you've come, check out the details in your timeline. You can view your timeline in two ways. First, just select Timeline from the toggle buttons on your course homepage. Second, go to the Reports menu from the main menu in the top left corner. Select View Timeline Detail from the Timeline Report tile. From here, you'll be able to see your journey in Alex. Your hard work is paying off. You are making progress. Be proud of what you have accomplished and finish strong.